Hello everyone. So in this video, we are going to troubleshoot on the error operating system not found uh, for a virtual machine. Uh, you can do the same th steps for the physical machine as well, though uh, the changes that we will be doing here are virtual. You can make the same changes physical, physically as well on the server. So for this test, I will be using Windows 7 uh, machine, which is currently no boot and another Windows 7 machine, which is up and running there. I have installed an HXD hex editor tool which I will be using. So let's start with the demo here. You can see the Windows 7 currently is in no boot state and getting an error operating system not found. So uh, let me just do a control all delete once again, just so that we can start with the boot process and confirm. So you can see the same error that we are getting. So we'll just power it off now. And uh, once we'll power this up, this is the running virtual machine where I will be making the change. So I'll just power it off. And what I will be doing is I'll be using the VHD, which is being used to boot this virtual machine. And I will be adding it to the running virtual machine so that we can make the changes at the sector level. You can you have to do the same thing at the physical level as well. You'll have to take out the hard drive, attach it to a server, which is currently up and running. And uh, you will be at the same state. So in the virtual machine setup, I have just copied the location of the hard drive and uh, I'll just open the settings of Windows 7 Horizon desktop. Uh, I'll go to add the hard drive and I'll be using an existing hard drive on a SCSI controller so that I can plug it in when the virtual machine is running. So it is now added. Let me just switch it up to full screen once. I'll open disk management as whenever we add a hard drive, uh, it goes offline first. So we'll have to bring it online. So let me bring this disk online here. And uh, you can see it's able to detect the file system and has a drive letter as well. We can access the files. It's just that it's not showing as active at the moment. So Let's open the HXD tool. Uh, you can use any other hex editor as well. It's a simple hex editor tool. That's all we need. And uh, nothing else is required. Sometimes people have uh, their own utilities and uh, preferences, but uh, it should be fine. All we need is we need a tool which can access and edit the uh, physical disk or a virtual disk at a sector level. So that's all is required. So now this is done. These, these are the options that we get. In the tools, we will see the option uh, of uh, opening the disk. I'll be using the disk three to open it. I'll uncheck that read only option because currently it's read only mode. I won't be able to make any changes. It's a warning that you are getting because you're going to make changes at the sector level. If you don't understand what you are doing, the data might, you might see phase of data loss as well. I'll be using a working uh, setup as well, the disk zero with which this virtual machine is booting up. And uh, I have set it as read only because I don't want to make any changes with this. If you'll see here, eight zero, this is an active marker. That's a boot indicator, which is not present on our machine where we are seeing this issue. So what we will be doing is we'll be adding eight zero here. I'm sorry, I'll be adding eight zero and I'll be adding control plus S to save and uh, hit yes. Once this is done, I'll just close this uh, application as we don't require it anymore. Go to the disk management, bring it offline so that we can safely remove it from this virtual machine. And uh, once that is done, we will come out of this. Let me minimize it once, restore the window, go to Windows 7 no boot and uh, first remove the virtual hard drive from here. Hit OK. Do the same thing there. Power on the virtual machine now. And uh, if you will see now, we will be able to pass the VMware logo. 
that means it's able to identify the active partition and it's starting the windows normally now 